Hi guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today we're talking about sarcoptic mange, also known as scabies. This was actually one of the very first things I ever diagnosed as a veterinarian. I was like, wow, I just diagnosed something really cool. It's like my first day on the job. And then I realized I should have been wearing gloves. Unlike demodectic mage, sarcoptic mage is zoonotic. It can be spread from dogs to me and you. Sarcoptic mage is incredibly itchy for dogs and humans alike. Mange or sarcoptic mange can grow and live on dogs quite well. The female lays eggs and a few weeks later, boom, we got babies. For humans, when humans get sarcoptic mange from a dog, or wildlife, that sarcoptic mange will make the human, me and you, really, really, really itchy. When a dog has sarcoptic mange, a pet owner or you will notice a handful of things. The most common thing somebody notices is their dog's really itchy. Sarcoptic mange, guys, is one of the most itchiest diseases possible for a doggy to have. They will chew, they will scratch, their fur will fall out, their, fur will, their skin will get really thick and irritated. It just is really, really tough on the doggy. You roll into the veterinary office and you're like, Dan, look, we are just scratching, scratching, scratching. We are like a 10 out of 10 on the itchy scale. Yeah, they used to have that at vet school, like how itchy is the dog. Now I just say, are we super itchy or, or not? The first thing I'm gonna do is a skin scrape. For any itchy dog, I always scrape the skin. I will take a little tool and I will just rub up against the skin I'll squeeze the skin to hopefully push the mites up, and then I'll, then I'll squeeze it, and then I'll scrape it. And as I scrape it, I'm pulling up skin cells and hair follicles, and hopefully, hopefully, I'm pulling up the mites. They go onto a slide, and I look at it under the microscope. Now, uh, I, will, I will be able to diagnose, you know, any kind of mite on this, on this skin scrape. So I may find demodectic mange, which is a mange that is not zoonotic, cannot be spread to people. It's more of a puppy or an immune compromised mite. If you're curious about demodectic mange, a mange that's not spread to other dogs or people, go ahead and click this card right here and I will explain all about demodectic mange. Now, back to sarcoptic mange or scabies. After I scrape it, I'm looking for the scabies mite. The scabies mite will actually dig really deep into the skin, so it can be incredibly hard sometimes to find them. Also, they may not, there may not be a whole bunch of sarcoptic mange in the skin. Just a handful can cause extreme itchiness. We go ahead and we look at the slide, and if we see sarcoptic mange, best day ever, awesome, we have diagnosed this doggy, and I'm hoping I wore gloves this time. Now, if we don't find any sarcoptic mange on the slide, on the skin scrape, if the history supports it, let's say we went hunting or we were exposed to some wildlife, and back then we weren't itchy at all, and now we are super, super itchy. Also, the location of the fur loss, how intense is the itchiness, and all of this is going to build kind of like uh, a resume for should we treat for sarcoptic mange. The good thing is, treating for sarcoptic mange can be relatively simple. A veterinarian may use a topical, they may use an oral or injectable, or they may even use a bath. There's a handful of different options, and depending on if we find the sarcoptic mange, how itchy we are, if we have any like open sores, if we're bleeding at all, or if we have a bacterial infection to go with the sarcoptic mange, will really dictate how your veterinarian is going to treat it. I hope this content regarding sarcoptic mange was crazy, super helpful. If it was, go ahead and subscribe and like. If you have an experience with sarcoptic mange, I would love to hear about it. And go ahead and check out some other videos. Take care, guys, and have a great week.